How terrifying can AI generated art get? Let's ramble about it. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble. About what? Uh, anything. And everything. Artificial intelligence has recently been used to create unique pieces of art and even video games. But what would artificial intelligence create if it were to create a person? Are you ready to find out? So apparently an AI art enthusiast has apparently stumbled across a creepy recurring image which has now been named as Lobe. Apparently this image is more easily generated than you ever would expect or probably want. Now you may or may not know that artificial intelligence, well it was pioneered by Alan Turing in the 1950s and basically it's Machines with artificial intelligence, they've been programmed in a way that allows them to mimic human intelligence. In some cases, they can learn and even improve in order to complete preordained tasks. Scientists have created bespoke AI programs that are capable of taking prompts from humans, often in the form of plain text or images, and they use them as guiding points of inspiration with which to generate art. Now, oftentimes, these computer-generated images are chaotically random and surrealist in nature. And on occasion, they have even been known to stray into the realms of the nightmarish and the creepy. So this is where Loeb comes in. And apparently this Loeb haunts every image that she happens to be in. So where did Loeb come from? Well, apparently the programmer simply asked the AI to create an image that was the opposite of Marlon Brando. To do this, they typed in what is known as a negatively weighted prompt, which causes the program to create the polar opposite of what it is perceived to be its subject. In this case, they used the prompt Brando negative one, and unexpectedly, it created a strange logo depicting a skyline and the letters Digita Fintix. And so the programmers, what they did is they fed those letters back to the artificial intelligence as another negative prompt and they were wondering if the computer was going to show them a picture of Marlon Brando. I don't know, what do you think about that? So apparently the sudden appearance of this distorted individual, it was creepy in its own right, but things just got stranger from there. They decided to combine one of those images of Loeb with another made by a friend depicting a glass tunnel surrounded by angels. And the programmer Super Composite and some other AI artists say that something about the Loeb image pulls art creation tools towards the horrific. According to Super Composite on Twitter, through some kind of emergent statistical accident, there's something about this woman that is adjacent to extremely gory. Additionally, where you might expect multiple iterations of combined images to begin showing something new, Super Composite says Loeb is unexpectedly persistent. So apparently the AI was apparently able to latch on to the idea of Loeb so well that she persisted through generations of images, even reappearing in later images after seemingly disappearing. The persistence of Loeb and its overall creepiness has led one person to dub her the first cryptid of the latent space. It's a term referring to the space between the input and output in machine learning. And the internet has apparently followed suit. They've been dubbing her everything from hero to demon. And they've even been going as far as creating fan art and even digital art. So, 
Is Loeb the most terrifying person you've ever seen? Is AI evil? And is Loeb the spawn of hell? Perhaps this is what artificial intelligence sees the human race as. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, you might want to click that like button as well as clicking subscribe and the notification bell so that Loeb won't haunt your dreams at night. Thanks for watching and have a killer awesome day.